Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Olivier Nalima. One of my subscribers asked here in this question, Sir, next step soccer panda con low competition keywords and good research video, please. So this is what we're going to talk about today. You as well, if you have a question, please feel free to leave it in the comment below and I will gladly answer it. Let's get right into it. First of all, if it's your first time, welcome. My name is Oliver. And I'm bringing you tips and tricks on how to make money online with print and demand. Let's start this video by talking about the Black Friday promotion plan at Creative Fabrica. If you are not yet a subscriber of Creative Fabrica, for this Black Friday starting tomorrow for my subscriber, I have a huge deal for you where you can have a yearly all access subscription for only $59 a year. If you are not yet a subscriber, this is a good time to join Creative Fabrica. And if you are already a subscriber of Creative Fabrica, like me, the deal here will give you an additional year all access subscriber for only $47. I already have the full access for the $59. Now I'm going to buy starting tomorrow another year for only $47. That's only $3.99 a month. So definitely a good deal. If you are or not a subscriber of Creative Fabrica, go ahead, use the link below and grab your yearly access. Now, talking about the keyword, we're going to talk about the Panda keyword in this video, okay? So, what we have to understand is something. When you create your design, you need to ask you three questions. And usually what I do in my site, I even ask, I even ask myself those three questions before even starting a design. The first question is, who is this design for? It is important to ask this question because you do, we don't want to design for a niche where the demand is very low. It is important to have a niche with very high demand because if there is no demand, we cannot sell anything. Let's say that your niche is this random string of numbers that I just type in here and I put it in red. You may be the only one to type in on the world. No one will look for it. So you need to find a niche where there is a demand. So where there, who is this design for? We'll ask the question, for example, in our example, it's going to be the panda lovers etc etc people that like pandas okay now why they are going to wear it it is important because if it's a group if they are panda lovers if they would like to wear it for birthdays etc this is the question that you need to ask it here now how are they going to find it this is a question that we talk about keywords it is important especially when you are on amazon or even on google that we need to type in what the customer are going to tap in the search bar. If I go to Panda here and I type in Panda, I'm going to see people are already typing on Amazon Panda gift, Panda planner, talking about KDP, Panda stuff animal. And if I type in Panda shirt, for example, I'm going to type in Panda shirt kid, Panda shirt 40, Panda shirts for women. Again, it is very important. When you see like stuff like that, panda shirt for women or panda gift, etc., that you enter those keywords in your listing. Okay. Yes, Amazon do not recommend to enter shirts, but you can enter, for example, panda T for women, panda T for girls age 10 to 12, for example. This is very important and this can give you extra sales. So let's go back to how to find our keywords. Okay. The easiest way. And the free way is going to be to go to Amazon. Okay. You go to Amazon. I have here installed the Chrome extension self publishing Titan. It is dedicated to KDP, but I find it since I have a lot of, since I have a lot more um, keyword here, you can use this Chrome extension self publishing Titans and download it. And then once you have the list here, if I type in Panda shirt here, I'm going to, you're going to simply download all suggestions. But what you're going to do, if you want to use a free version, you just go in there, go to Panda, type in Panda first without anything at the end, and you're going to download what you have here. As you can see, the list is long, but what you're going to do as well is type in Panda A, and whatever you have, you download Panda B, whatever you have here, you download Panda C, etc., etc. This is a time-consuming method. There is no shortcut in there if you want the free version. You download all the files like you have here. You download all the keywords, okay? And I'm going to show you what you're going to do with it. 
To save time, I'm going to use a paid tool to download all those keywords. This is a tool that I recommend since I started my YouTube channel. I have early video on it. You can, have, If you have the time, you can go back and watch all of them. These are very important. The tool I'm going to use is called Keyword Tool Dominator. Again, you have a link below where you can have a coupon code to use it. Okay, they have a free version. So even if you don't want to pay anything, you can still use the link below, download it. And you, have, you can have, I think, two or three searches per day. Okay. So when you are on this keyword tool, they have a bunch of tools. I'm going to use the Amazon keyword tool here and type in on this list here, Panda. When you type in your Panda, you're going to add a, star, a space and star. And you're going to click on search. What this tool will do, it will go to Amazon, look for all the keywords that people are typing on Amazon, and it's going to grab all of them for me. I no more need to type in Panda E, Panda B, Panda C, etc. and download. This tool will do the job for me. I save a lot of time. Okay, that's why I'm using Pay Tool, just to save time. Okay, so this is the first step. As you can see, we have 355 keywords that it was able to grab. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the Panda at the end here. I'm going to add now the star in the beginning. As you can see, so star space Panda. And I'm going to click again, search. The tool will go again and it will grab all the keywords, all the phrases that customers are already typing on Amazon related to Panda. Okay, because here we would like to target people in the Panda niche. So if you remember in the beginning, we were at 300 something. Now by adding the, pan, the star and space Panda, now we are at 622 keywords. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to export this list. So by doing only two searches, I have my list here of all the keywords dedicated to Panda. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with this keyword, stick to this video. I'm going to show you what to do with. The next step is to go to Google Ads or Google Keyword Planner. Again, it's a free tool here, Google Planner. You can go in there and register. I'm not sure if you need the credit card because in the past it was required. But if it's a requirement, just add your code, your credit card and you can create uh, an ad where you're going to bid, for example, 0 0.01 cent. You will have no uh, nothing at all to be um, represent and then you can use it. But as you can see here, uh, the, the ads are paused because I, I didn't uh, have add, add a credit card. That's why. That's how you can do it. So you're, you're going to click on discover new keyword. If you are not on this page, all you have to do is to click on the tool and setting here. And you're going to go to Keyword Planner. Okay. You will appear on this page. You click on Discover New Keyword. And I'm going to type in again here Panda. But for this instance, on Google Planner, I'm going to type in Panda Shirt. Pay attention to change here the default country because I'm based in Canada. That's why it's Canada. You have to remove it unless you are targeting Canada or UK. And we're going to enter United States here. Click on the target, save, you're going to click on search. What this will do again, it will download on Google all the keywords that people are typing on Google related to Panda shirt. Okay. Why are we doing one search on Amazon and one search on Google? Because you certainly know that Amazon is already is also ranking on Google. So why not receiving extra traffic from Google for our design? That's why we are doing this search. When you have this search here, what you're going to do, you're going to click on this download button here on the right and it will download again all your keywords. Here are the keywords that I was able to grab from Google. As you can see here, interesting thing about Google is that we have the average monthly search. This is very interesting. I'm going to delete here the column from A to D because we don't need them. I'm going to just leave, leave those one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy those keywords here that I was able from Google and I'm going to add them to the list that I was able to grab from Amazon. So I go to the bottom of my list here and I paste those keywords. Okay. So now when I do that at the end, I have 880 keywords. Okay. We will not use all of them, obviously, but it is important that we have all of them. Next step, you copy all your keywords and you go to this website, tracemyip.org. What we're going to do, we're going to paste all 
our keyword here and we're gonna click the original order what this will do it will remove the duplicates keyword that we have here we're gonna have a list here of unique keywords that we're gonna use later on on our listing word by word this system will check and it will remove any duplicate so i have only unique word here and i'm gonna paste the keywords here the list is long as you can see what we're gonna do with this list later on we're gonna find the keyword that are not related to our design and we're gonna remove them for example stuffed is not related to our design so we're gonna remove stuffed planner it's not a planner we're gonna remove planner card is not a card we're gonna remove card express no dunks no unless your panda is making a dunk okay i'm not sure what the design is about but uh, the design we're gonna do is it's not related to that so i'm gonna remove switch mallow etc this is a very important you're gonna do it gift you can keep or, or, or you can keep or remove uh, i add gift on my listing not on the title but on the bullet point and i had no issue so far but uh, if you are more comfortable just do not use it okay you can remove that no problem blanket not blocket etc important it is very important that you remove everything that is not related to your listing in this list of unique keywords and we're gonna remove as much as we can and everything that will remain we're gonna try to use them in our listing okay very important i will let this part to you again this is not a short there is no shortcut when you want to write a good listing it takes time but when you do it for this niche for example panda okay you can take like two three hours to do a deep niche research for your panda niche and then you can upload create multiple design in in this panda niche okay why do you want to spend three hours to create only uh, one design do that and create multiple design in your panda niche okay this is going to be useful for you let's go back to our full list here what i'm going to do i'm going to upload all the i'm going to copy the keywords the 800 keyword remember we had 600 from him from amazon and 200 something from uh, google i'm going to copy all of them and i'm going to go back to google i go to my to my google and what i'm going to do this time i'm going to go back here on my keyword planner and i'm going to click now on the gut search volume and forecast okay i'm going to paste my list of keyword here and then click on get started five keyword with error let's remove those one they are not big deal i can get started with my list what this tool will do it will look for the search result for those keywords but again, when you click on search, pay attention. As you can see here, the country is again Canada. For some reason, it will keep the same. But if, if it change, just change it here. You change, you remove the Canada. You type in again your United States. You target, you save. And then now you have your keyword for United States for the last year, November 21st, November 2021 to October 2022. Okay. Now, you click on this arrow. And attention, you're going to click on Plan Historic Metrics, CSV or Google Sheet. If you, are, if you are using Google Sheet instead of Excel, you can use the Google Sheet one. I'm going to click on the CSV because we have Excel. Plan Historical Metrics. And I click on that. Do not click on Forecast. Click on Metrics. We would like to know what was the research in the past year, not in the future. That's why we are looking for Plan Historical Metrics. So here is my list here. All my keywords what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove again the column here that are not useful for me i'm gonna click the average monthly searches even segmentation just to confirm united states here this is good i can remove that i'm gonna click even though i can remove the currency it's not useful here is the search volume i'm gonna uh, these two here is just the total of the line i'm gonna remove them and i'm gonna Select all the keywords, 869. I'm going to filter, go back on top, and I'm going to sort it from the largest to smallest to see what is the keyword that have the most searches per month. Okay. And from this list here, I'm going to 
remove the one again that are not related to my design panda express do not use that it's a shop i'm not sure what they are what they are i think it's food delivery something like that panda dunks i'm not sure what is it but it's not selling a t-shirt we're gonna remove that kung fu panda of course we're gonna remove all of them etc etc so you remove again all the keywords that are not related to your design okay the list that will remain with you is only keyword that people are typing on amazon as well as google rapidly for this for the for the sake of this video i was able to identify a few but you have much more in there that you need to go in there and do it by yourself either if you are doing it for the panda niche or for any other niche okay so i'm gonna sort here uh, by the search volume from the last largest and i'm gonna only select the one that are in yellow that I was able to rapidly identify okay so we can see that the here is the keyword here panda bear panda cookie etc etc okay and this is the one here the, the keyword that we were able to find in our last video if you didn't get the chance please go back and watch it so this is the keyword that we find here panda this is our, our role we don't we we say that we're going to create a design uh, based on panda this is how i roll now you're going to try to use those exact phrases important those exact phrases in your listing okay for example if your design is about a dabbing panda it is important to have dabbing panda shirt in your listing you can do that if you go to create your listing in your title you're gonna arrange yourself to have at the end of the title dabbing panda so what you can do for example is to type in panda item dabbing panda this is how i roll it is important that you add your panda this is how i roll in this exact order in your title if i take the example here i can you can write a title for example panda item dabbing panda this is how i roll okay and amazon will add t-shirt phone case hoodie etc at the end okay very important again i repeat myself but this is very important you need to add the exact keyword that people are typing if i go to amazon and i type in panda i roll we can see that panda i roll hat panda i roll search that's why you need to have this panda i roll in your listing and at the end put so that amazon auto complete it do not put it in the beginning put it at the end i want to see panda this is how i roll t-shirt panda item because it's in the list here okay and dabbing panda if you're thinking about the dabbing panda again this is we can add dabbing panda here okay now what are we going to do with those with our full list here that we had once you remove all your items that are not related to your design in the bullet point and description you're gonna try to add as much as you can okay as much as you can this is very important so this is what i wanted to share with you today if you find any value please consider like and subscribe and activate the notification bell for any further video and don't forget the deal for the subscriber of creative fabrica 47 dollars for an extra year if you are if you are already a subscriber even for the yearly plan and for the new subscriber you can have 59 dollars per year per year for your access. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.